My name is Crow Kane. I'm a nail artist from Miami. Today we're doing Rico Nasty's Nails, one of the dopest rappers in the game. She's known for her eccentric personality and her crazy fashion. So nice to see you. How are you? Good. So, okay, first thing. Definitely spark so up. Here. <laughs> oh my God. Last time you did my nails, it went viral. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So how you been out here in LA? You been chilling? Yeah, recording Coachella. Yeah, how was that? <laughs> you killed it. It was it was really fun. Um, my first time going, so I had high expectations. <laughs> <laughs> how did you decide what you wanted to wear for Coachella? I know that shit must have been hard. I'm not gonna lie, I found out that I got Coachella in like October of last year. So yeah. I've been planning ever since that. Since then. <laughs> You gotta be prepared for that shit. Yeah, I went through like five different options. Oh my god. So what's the craziest thing that's happened to you out while you've been on tour? Oh my fucking god, girl, <laughs> well, let me tell you. So like the beginning of the tour, I think it was within like the first two weeks of the tour, I went to Canada mm -hmm. and I got these Louboutins and they were like the cutest, super expensive of course. And we get all the way to Vegas, which is the last stop of my tour. And why are the fucking shoes gone? Oh my God, no. They're fucking gone. The box is there. What? But the fucking shoes are gone. And I know that you're probably thinking it was someone on the bus. Uh huh. But we were so drunk, probably like two nights before, that I think like we left the door open. Oh Because we were all leaving at the show and we were like, oh shit, who left the door open? And took them fucking shoes. So oh if you my. watching this, bitch, Come give me my fucking sun. shoes. So I'm just curious to know, what kind of drunk are you? It depends what I'm drinking. Okay. So if I'm drinking Hennessy, uh huh, I'm sad. No. I'm like a miserable drunk. I'm like, man. <laughs> and then Doucet is like. You know, I got on my Fenty Savage. <laughs> You're feeling grown you know, sexy, okay? You're feeling very sexy, you know. <laughs> I don't like vodka. Problematic juice. Yeah, I, honestly, that's the perfect word for it. <laughs> Problematic juice. Yeah, because it just makes you just want to start some shit. You're just sitting in the club like, a dead bitch. <laughs> like, what? Calm down. Um, that's pretty much it, though. I don't really drink anything else, just those three. How do you feel about that, like, with your baby? Do you feel like... I feel like there's, like, a lot of pressure on mothers to, like, be a certain type of role model. But I feel like when raising a child, you learn fast as hell that honesty is the best policy. Yeah. Even in growing up with your own parents, you learn, like, it's best to just be honest in any relationship. Um, and not honest to the point where you're just like, hey, kid, I'm just yeah. going weed. But, you know, if, if your kid is asking you, asking you, you don't, you don't lie to them. Yeah. Like, but, you know, he's not at the age to be that curious yet. Um, yeah, so, he still has some time. Yeah, I still keep it, I still keep it rather private, but I feel like once he hits like six or seven, I mean, my, I have fucking posters around my house that say Rico Nasty. So I'm sure yeah, he's yeah, gonna, yeah. Google it or something. Yeah. Like what seven year olds do. They Google shit. So yep. He'll look it up. He'll be like, oh, my mom, she smokes weed. So does a lot of other people. <laughs> Would you say that you like to smoke weed to calm you down and to like calm your nerves? Or is it just like something that you do all the time, no matter what, at any moment? I, I want to say it's a, it's a little bit of every reason why a lot of people smoke weed. Like, I smoke weed because when I'm on period, I get really bad cramps. Mm -hmm. I smoke weed because a lot of times after a show, you got all that adrenaline rush and you do need something to calm you down. You do need something that'll put you to sleep. And, you know, for creative purposes as well, you know, you always just want to vibe out. And it's, it's one of those things. I like doing it alone, too. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Some people like to smoke with a lot of people. I, I, I like to smoke by myself. I don't like smoking with a lot of people. 
Have you ever felt like weed or like psychedelic or something that has put you on a bad trip? Okay, I don't really want to talk about psychedelics because like <laughs> my mom is probably gonna watch this, but I've I've only done it once. Okay. And it was for a celebration. And I made a really cool song. I made a song called Sandy. So you know, like <laughs> I just I vibed out. But and what was the song about? I don't know, just, it's about a lot of random shit, actually. It just starts off, <laughs> how off ass is like a lady on a red carpet, just in her fashion. It's like super high energy, but like the anxiety was so bad. Like I was like really freaked Freaking out. Freaking out. Like I was really freaked out. Like everything felt like it was moving, you know, the the usual. Yep. Not really my um my thing of choice. Yeah. You know? So when you get in those moments and you feel like you're getting upset, how do you calm yourself down? I think about the average stereotype of a black woman reaction. I think about how everyone is just expecting me to go crazy. Just a whole bunch of shit that I'm not. What would you say would be your final destination in life? Like, what's your final biggest goal? I just want to buy a really big house. I want a house that's like a circle and then like, like a donut. Uh -huh. And then on the, in the middle of the house, I want it to be a pool. Mm, that sounds good. It sounds like a paradise. Yeah, I want like bunny bushes, like it were scissor hands and stuff like that. I'm really into like landscaping, cool stuff like that. Um, and of course, last but not least, I feel like this is everybody's dream to, to meet Rihanna, to meet Beyonce. After that, I'd probably just turn into dust. That's so <laughs> I'm not anything anymore. <laughs> That's cool. I feel like they probably already know much about you. They're probably already fans. Awkward pause. <laughs> no, people tell me that and I'd be like, ha, ha, No, for sure. I don't believe you. For sure, but for sure. Who knows? People be listening. They be listening to a lot of music. I've, I've been very surprised at the celebrities that have came out and been like, hey, I like Rico and Esty. I'm mm -hmm. like, what? I like you. <laughs> Crazy. So for what do you got for your future plans? What do you got coming out? What have you been working on? I've been working on a project. Um, <laughs> called Anger Management. Really excited about it. Everyone has been asking for me to do a collab project with Kenny. So that's what this is. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. We got a Europe tour, and then we, we're probably going to do the album after that. So. Mm. Do you have any features with any artists that you like? On the next project, I have a song with Earth Gang, and I have a song with Splurge. That's it. That's the only two features I have. But I really like, oh my God, you did it so fast. <gasps> yes. Perfect. Yes. Exactly. So good. Thank you so much. No problem. Oh it was so God. nice to see you again. So good to and you hit me up if you need anything. I'll you see you very soon. I will see you very soon. Have a good Love time. You.